Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a 20 minute morning Pilates workout for you designed to wake up your body and leave you feeling strong and energized for your day. So when you're ready to get started, carefully come down onto your back, bring the soles of your feet together and let your knees fall open. Take one hand onto your heart, one hand onto your belly and just close your eyes here, taking a moment to connect with your breath. Then reach your arms up towards the ceiling and interlace your fingers. Press your palms away from you on your inhale and exhale, stretch your arms overhead, making sure that your rib cage stays closed in. Take a nice deep breath here as you lengthen through your spine and then bring your arms back up. Change the interlock of your fingers and then inhale, stretch your palms away. Exhale, reach your arms overhead making sure not to flare through your rib cage. Then take your arms back up, separate your hands and close your knees, bringing your feet flat on the mat now, make sure they're hip distance apart and shuffle your heels in towards your glutes. Inhale, reach your arms back in line with your ears. Exhale, roll your hips up vertebra by vertebra, finding your bridge position. Inhale, carefully roll them back down. Then exhale, lift your head and shoulders, finding your abdominal curl. And again, inhale, lower your head, reach your arms back. Exhale, roll your hips up. Inhale, roll them down. And exhale, curl. Keep going. Pairing your breath with your movement here. As you lift your head and shoulders up, really reach through your fingertips, finding lift through your upper body, waking up those abdominals. Press through your heels as you roll your hips up. Let's do one more of these. Then let's hold our curl, hug your right knee in towards your chest and extend your left leg out. Pull the knee into your chest two times and then switch. So you pull, pull and switch. Nice, exhale, exhale, inhale, switch. Exhale, exhale, inhale, switch. Really trying to stay as lifted as you can through the upper body using your abdominals here. Really nice job, guys. Last one. Now release your arms forward by your hips and just switch the legs. You switch and switch. Just seven more, six, five, Four, you can do it. Three, two, and one. Well done. Hug your knees in. Rest your head for a moment. Turn your head right and left to release any tension. And then set your feet back down on the mat and slide them further forward towards the bottom edge of your mat. Inhale, reach your arms overhead by your ears. Exhale, lift your head and shoulders and roll yourself all the way up to seated using those abs. Inhale, find the length through your spine. Then exhale with control, roll yourself all the way back down. Inhale, arms reach overhead. Exhale, curl yourself up, rolling up to seated. Inhale, find length. And exhale, roll back down. We do two more of these. Moving at your own pace here, really trying to find the control in the movement. On this last one, let's hold at the top and on your exhale, 
round your spine, tuck your pelvis under, finding your C curve. Then lower down onto your forearms. Make sure your elbows are underneath your shoulders. Bend your knees in towards your chest and lift them up to a tabletop position. Open your knees and keep your toes together. Exhale, tap your left toes down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, right toes. Inhale, lift. So just alternating, tapping one toe at a time down towards the mat, making sure that you're staying as lifted as possible through the upper body. Two more. And last one. Well done. From here, flex your feet, then press your feet away from you out to the diagonal, point your toes and lift your legs straight up and re-bend your knees. So you flex, push your feet away from you, point your toes, lift your legs up and re-bend the knees. We do three more of these. Taking this movement nice and slowly so that we're really using the strength of our legs and strength of our core. Last one. Now let's reverse the movement. So extend your legs straight up, flex your feet, lower the legs straight down, point your toes and pull your knees in. So you extend, flex and lower, point and pull your knees in. Three more. You can do it. Keep pressing through your arms, lifting through your chest. Only one more. Now hold your legs down on the diagonal, point your toes and let's crisscross our legs to finish for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Bend your knees in, press yourself up and let's stretch those hip flexors. So knees apart, soles of your feet together. Inhale, lengthen your spine and exhale, fold forward, releasing any tension through those hip flexors. Carefully lift your chest and straighten your legs now out in front of you. Flex your feet and open your legs out so they're mat distance apart. Sitting up nice and tall, let's reach our arms forward directly over our legs. Inhale, twist over to your left. Exhale, reach to the outside of your left foot. Inhale, come back up and exhale back through center. Other side, inhale, twist. Exhale, reach to the outside of your right foot. Inhale, come up and exhale through center. Keep going. Keeping a nice straight spine as you twist. And then as you reach forward, really draw your navel back as you reach through those fingertips. Let's do one more on each side, maybe reaching a little bit further. Last one. Beautiful job. Using the strength of your legs, close your thighs together and vertebra by vertebra, roll yourself all the way back down to your mat. Let's extend our right leg up towards the ceiling now. Lift your head and shoulders and hold on to the back of your calf or back of your thigh, wherever you can reach and extend your left leg out. Exhale, pull your right leg in. Inhale, switch. Exhale, pull. Inhale, switch. Keeping your legs as straight as you can as you stay as lifted as possible through the upper body. Just two more. Last one. Hold your legs where they are. Take your hands behind your head, elbows wide and then bring opposite elbow to leg and let's switch and switch just for eight, seven. Nice, exhale and exhale. 
four more, three, two, and one. Well done, hug your knees in, turn your head right and left if you need to. And then let's roll on to our side now. So coming on to the right side of our body, resting our head in our hand, let's bend our knees and extend our left leg out and in line with our body. We're gonna bicycle our legs forward. So bend from your knee, draw your knee forward, extend the leg and then kick the leg back. Inhale as you bend the knee, extend the leg forward Exhale as you sweep it back. You have six more in this direction. Really focus on keeping your leg at exactly the same height as you bicycle the leg forward and sweep it back. And also try to keep your hips and the rest of your body as still as possible. Let's reverse it now. So inhale, kick the leg straight forward, bend your knee and extend it back. Inhale, kick it forward, exhale, bend the knee, extend it back. You've got it, just five more of these. Trying to stay as relaxed through the upper body as you can, just concentrating on our leg movements. And last one, well done. Let's flex our foot now. We kick the leg forward for two pulses. So we kick, kick, and then extend the leg back. So flex and kick forward, point and kick back. Taking that two pulses forward and then lengthening the leg back. Again, trying to keep our hips and the rest of our body as still as possible and keeping our leg as lifted as we can. Just one more of these. Well done, let's hold our leg extended back now. Reach your left arm up to the ceiling and lift the leg up and up. You got it, nice exhale and exhale. Just eight more, seven, six, really point through those toes, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Press yourself up to seated and let's take a nice little stretch. Inhale, reach your right arm up. Exhale, side bend to your left. Then inhale, take your right forearm down to the mat as you reach your left arm over. And again, inhale, reach your right arm up and over. Exhale, reach your left arm up and over. Beautiful job, guys. Let's come to the other side now. So coming on to our left side, resting our head in our hand, bend your knees, and let's extend our right leg out in line with our body now. Inhale, bicycle the knee forward, and exhale, sweep the leg back. Seven more of these. So just like what we were thinking about on the other side, we wanna make sure that our leg stays at exactly the same height as we bicycle the leg forward and sweep it back. Keeping our hips as still as possible and relaxing through our upper body and shoulders. And now reverse it, kick the leg straight forward, bend your knee, extend it back. So inhale, kick forward, exhale, bend and extend back. Just six more of these. Really think of engaging through your abdominals, so drawing your ribs down towards your hips, making sure you're keeping your center as still as you can as we work the leg. Let's do one more. Well done, back to those double kicks forward. Let's go, you kick, kick forward and kick back. Kick, kick forward and back. Keeping our leg as straight as we can and being careful not to rock too much through our hips. 
You're almost there guys, just two more. And last one, hold your leg extended back, reach your right arm up to the ceiling and let's lift the leg up and up. Really point through your toes. Just eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, guys. Prop yourself up and let's take that mermaid stretch again. Inhale, reach your left arm up and over. Exhale, set your left forearm down and reach your right arm over. And again, inhale, left arm reaches up and over. Exhale, right arm reaches up and over. Beautiful job, everyone. Let's lower down now onto the front side of our body. Your feet are hip distance apart and just take your elbows out by your side so your hands are roughly in line with your head. Draw your navel in towards your spine and on your inhale, lift your chest and exhale, lower back down. So inhale, lift your chest really using the strength of our back here and exhale as you lower using your arms to help you here a little bit to find a little extra lift through our upper body but keep focusing on drawing your belly button up towards your spine so that you protect your lower back last one hold your chest lifted and float your arms up and away from the floor really lifting those elbows up as high as you can using the strength of your back muscles here beautiful job interlace your fingers behind your back stretch your hands towards your feet and then lift your legs off the mat finding a little bit more opening through our heart center then carefully release back down and rest one cheek onto the mat. Wiggle your hips a little bit if you need to. And then let's repeat that, interlacing the opposite finger on top, stretching your hands towards your feet as you lift your legs. Or if you want more of a stretch, hold on to the outside of your ankles and press your feet into your hands, lifting through your chest coming into your bow pose. Take nice deep breaths wherever you are in this stretch. And then carefully release back down, setting your opposite cheek on the floor, taking a moment to rest and wiggle your hips. Beautiful. Let's press ourselves up now and press back into a child's pose. We're going to come into a little bit of a push-up series. So on your next inhale, ripple your spine forward, coming to your push-up position. Exhale, bend your elbows. Inhale, press up. Exhale, child's pose. And again, inhale as you shift forward. Exhale, bend your elbows. Inhale, press up. Exhale, child's pose. Keep going moving with your breath here making sure your spine stays super straight as you lower yourself down into your push-up and as you press yourself up you've got it guys only two more of these your workout this morning is almost over so stay with me Last one. Well done. Shift forward now to your hands and your knees and let's come in to a plank position. Make sure your shoulders are over your wrists and you're lifting up through your navel. Pull one knee up towards your underarm and step back and then pull your other knee up and step back. So just alternating knees here. This is where we finish our workout this morning. So stay with me. 
really trying to lift those knees up and towards your underarm. You've got it. Just four more. Three, two, and one. Well done. Set your knees down and press back into your child's pose. Flip your palms up towards the ceiling to release any tension through your shoulders. And just take a few deep breaths here. Then carefully roll up through your spine, lifting your chest and come onto your glutes, making your way very carefully down to your back. Pull your right knee in towards your chest, keeping your left leg extended out long. And then guide your right knee over to your left as you look over your right shoulder, feeling a beautiful stretch for your spine. Carefully come back through center, release your right leg out and then pull your left knee in towards your chest. Drop your left knee over to your right as you look over your left shoulder, coming into that twist. Carefully make your way back through center let your left leg go out long. And now just let your legs fall open. Bring your arms out by your side. Close your eyes and let your body fall heavy into the mat. Just observe your breath here, feeling all of the wonderful benefits of your practice this morning on your body. Maybe you'd like to take this time to think of one thing that you're grateful for today. Then carefully wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Take a big stretch overhead with your arms and then roll on to your side, taking a moment here to take a few deep breaths. Then carefully press yourself up, come to a comfortable cross-legged position on your mat, sitting up nice and tall. Let's finish class today like always with one last big inhale, reaching our arms up to the ceiling and exhale, hands come down to prayer. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this more gentle morning Pilates workout. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, share this video with a friend or family member and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much, everyone. And I hope you have a beautiful day.